Let's create a change blindness experiment together. First of all, we're going to need a questionnaire. So let's create a new questionnaire. Um, this is going to be my consent. This is the questionnaire editor and we add elements to the questionnaire editor by pressing this plus button. So I press the plus button, I'm going to add some markdown, create, and in my markdown box I'm going to write what I want. So first of all I'm going to put in a title. Now markdown means that this little hash symbol makes it a title over on this side. Um, let me copy and paste some text across. There you go. Now the other thing that we can do with Markdown is we can make something bold by putting stars around it. Watch in the live preview what happens. See, demonstrations have gone bold. And here the nicest thing with the list is that it doesn't matter what number I put here, the, live, the Markdown editor knows that the second item in this list should be a number two. So there's my consent form. And then let me add a consent box create and um, this is going to be I consent to items one and two above and this is consent. There you go. So let's commit version one and call this a simple consent form. Commit. There you go. Now if I go back to here we can see we've now got a consent form here. Let's also create a demographics questionnaire. Markdown about you. Please answer the following questions. And then let's go for the classic age and sex. I'll do them both as a drop down. Are you and then another one? <clears throat> Let's also have another drop down. Okay, how So now we've got our demographic form created as well. Now the last thing we need to create is our task. So here we're going to create a task. Create new. And we're going to do this using the task builder and it will be called change blindness. So first of all, we're going to need some inst some instructions. Then we will need the trials, and then we'll need a debrief. For the instructions, I'm just going to use a markdown. Same for the debrief. And each trial is going to be made up of a fixation For the instructions, um, we're going to make this static comment. It doesn't need to change between people. And this is a markdown area, so I can use the markdown text we had previously. So we can have this bold and this title. Um, and when people are ready, they're going to click this button, which will also be static content. We don't need the screen to auto advance. Now here we want to change this one, so let's go to an edit layout. We want this zone to be a change blindness zone. Okay. Um, and now the, we're going to populate this from a spreadsheet. 
because we're going to do two different change, but change blindness tasks. Um, so this is going to be image one. This is going to be the mask. This is going to be image two. And here we can have some static content on this button for participants to click when they've spotted the difference and that's how we'll measure the reaction time. Now we're going to make these manipulations which means they can be varied between, exper uh, between experiments and between participants. We'll call this image duration and we'll make this mask duration. And we again, we don't need it to automatically advance. Here we probably do. We want the fixation cross for f half a second, and then we want a tenth of a second of white space on either side. We don't need that to automatically advance. That will happen automatically here. And uh, finally, here, static content content for our debrief. Debrief. The end. Okay, so this is our structure set up. Let's move across to our stimuli. I'm going to upload some files. What we want is these three. And we also want these three. So those are all there. And then <coughs> from our spreadsheet, we want to download the spreadsheet. And I need to populate this with the information. So, first of all, we're going to want, we can go back to our instructions. We're going to want the instructions. Then we're going to want trials. And we're going to want two of these. And then the debrief. Now these trials, we want them to appear in random order. And then we need the name of the stimuli files. So we've got dinner1.png, dinner2.png, and dinner mask. And here we want Notre Dame. And here Notre Dame mask. PNG. Spread these out so that we can see everything. And then we have the debrief. <coughs> We're going to have these in a randomised order. And for metadata here, I'm going to put dinner and not done. And then that will come through as well in the data. But we don't particularly need that here. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. ready for uploading. Upload a spreadsheet, choose a file. Um, and here you go. Then the final thing we need is to set these manipulations. The default image duration could be two seconds. And the default mass duration could be 250 milliseconds, like that. Commit this. Basic um,
Let's preview it, see whether it looks right. Here's our instructions. And when you can see what's changing, you'd say, I see the difference. And similarly, when you can see what's changing, you click the I see the difference button, and we can just check that the data's coming through. Yep, here you can see we've got our responses, fixation button, fixation button, we've got some timings coming through. So that looks pretty good. Right, so that's ready as well. <coughs> so let's go back to our project. So the last thing to do is to create the actual experiment which links all these things together. So we'll have our experiment. OK. I want to create a new one. OK. Uh, change the blindness. Create. So now what we need to do is add all the elements. So first we need to press edit, add a new element. I would like to add a task. Uh, in my current project I've got my change blindness task. I would also like to add my questionnaires, uh, the consent and finally the demographics. And then I want to link these all together in my experiment. So first we want the consent and what we do is we drag a new arrow from the start onto the consent box. And you should get a nice little arrow like that. Um, same for the demographics. Let's just move these up a bit. Don't need that much space. And finally the change blindness task. And now that is all linked together. Actually, what we might want to do, let's make this a more interesting experiment. Let's add a randomizer. OK. Uh, we're going to have this as a mask condition with a ratio of 8. And we'll have a no mask condition with also a ratio of 8. And we're going to make this balanced, which means that for every 16 participants, definitely 8 go in this direction, 8 go in that direction. And it will always remain balanced. Let's make a bit more space. Um, so we're going to have the randomizer before the task and then we'll send some participants here towards the mask condition and then let's add another implementation of the task change blindness okay put this in the tree as well now here we've got a between subjects experiment but at the moment nothing's varying between the experiments so let's change this Let's change the mask duration to zero in our no mask condition. And now what gets shown in the tree is that in the mask condition, they've got a mask duration of 250. And in the mask no mask condition, there's a mask duration of zero. So let's commit this experiment uh, between subjects varying mask duration from 250 to zero. Commit. And then, then to put the experiment online, we'll change the recruitment policy to a simple link. Use this policy. And with this link, you can send it to somebody and they'll be able to take part. And that's how you create a simple experiment in Gorilla.